Welcome to another Messenger Minute. So we've done some work with Inkscape, so today we're going to learn how to take those Inkscape files and actually create a usable image that we might use on a website or some other purpose. So let's go to our Inkscape interface. Now this is a quick picture of a peach that I've created. And now I would like to actually create a picture of it that I can use on a website or somewhere else. So uh, the way to do that is first of all go into the file menu and select export PNG image. And once we do that you're going to see that over here on the right we've got the export image options. So I suggest generally you'll want to select drawing here and that will select and export everything that you have on the canvas. Now if you have other things on here and you only want a picture of the peach you can select that peach and then choose selection as your option. So the next thing you're going to look at is the actual image size. Now vector graphics are image independent which means that I can create a picture of this at any size without a loss of quality. So it depends on the purpose of the actual image. So uh, if I wanted to use this as an icon for a web page I would export a very small file. If I wanted to use this as uh, a picture on my web page it might be much larger. So this is in pixels and if you're not sure what to do you can just uh, do a little test. Export this at the size. Uh, let's say I export it at 600 pixels wide and then have a look at it and see if it suits your purpose. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose export as and this is going to let me choose the location of my file. So I'm going to select desktop and I'm going to give it a name. Uh, let's call this Peach 600 since I exported at 600 pixels. Save. But I'm not done yet. That save is not complete. The final step is to actually click this export button over here on the right. So once I click export you'll see the green progress bar and now that image has been created on my desktop. So let's have a quick look at it. There it is. Let's double click it. So this is giving me a full size preview of this image. Now this seems a bit excessive so I'm going to try exporting an image that's a little smaller than this. So I'll go back to Inkscape and I'm going to change my width from 600 to 300, half the size. Now you'll see height will automatically be changed to match. So I'm also going to choose export and I'm going to change the name from 600 to 300. Click save and finally export. Let's have a second look. Now we have Peach 300 here. Much better. So you can see the difference between Peach 600 and Peach 300. And you can continue doing this until you have uh, the size that you actually want to work with. It's, it's somewhat useless to export a picture that's too big. So try to actually export at the size that you, that you really want to use. And that's been another Messenger Minute. Thanks.